Hello there everybody and welcome back to our Rescue 2 Everyday Heroes Let's Play. Uh, this is episode number 3 here. Uh, and we are... I think this guy's going back to headquarters. Yeah, he is. So let's, uh, let's get continued on here. Uh, we're going to do this dispatch over here. Uh, looks like we have someone down. So we're going to send the ambulance first. And then uh, we'll see what happens from there. Uh, we might need might need a ladder here. Remember last episode, uh, we learned how to use the ladder truck, and we also learned how to deal with electrical fires. So, yeah, well, it looks like we got a fire. Uh, if all of you here uh, come from the emergency series, Rescue Two here does not allow you to take multiple calls at once. You have to deal with one call at a time. So, we uh, makes no sense for us to dispatch the other other call because we can't do that. Alright. Uh, I have a feeling, didn't we do this uh, last time, guys? Pretty sure we did. Thought we did this one last time. Hmm. I thought we did do this one last time. Maybe not, maybe it's a different different area. We'll get uh, fire on scene. No. And I'll see if we can maybe... Maybe put fire over here. Alright. Oh, not you. I'm sorry. We got... Oh, that's right. We gotta wait for fire to... Fire to get around here so that way we can uh, move them. That's why. So, not a whole lot going on around here. Uh, this game's a little bit slower, obviously, paced. Uh, there's a little bit more, a lot more micromanagement stuff, I feel like. Especially when it comes to the fire department. And there's definitely some other little... Little things here. Let's disembark everybody here. Uh, let's get him... To pick up a first aid kit. Uh, if you could disembark everybody. You could lift the gate up, please. If you could lift that gate up, awesome. You could go over there. And if you could chop down those boxes so we can get our victim, that would be awesome. I don't think that's safe, but... Not much we could do about that. Right, Moby? Yes, Moby. Alright, now our paramedic here could move in. Um, enter vehicle, please. Understood. Thank you. Alright. Uh, remember Bob here? Bob is our female firefighter. Um, did you administer treatment? Alright, you did. Alright, so. Return the tool to the, uh, ambulance there. Alright, this is, uh, definitely a pain. Having to return the, all this equipment. Uh, we don't need you anymore. You could uh, return to station. Understood. Uh, they remember they do go back to station with their lights on, which is interesting. All right, if you could pick up the uh, victim. And uh, remember, everybody, we have no stretcher. Oh, we have a stretcher out of thin air. I do like that though. That it raises like that. That is uh, definitely yes. realistic. Yes. But for him not to have the stretcher is uh, just a little bit awkward. So, all right, well, uh, this call will be cleared up here then. As soon as he gets the victim in the ambulance there, as you can see. There we go. All right. Oops, we want to transport to the hospital. And he gets in, and the vehicle takes off before he gets in. So that is this uh, this mission here. Not too crazy. I think we did it last time, but maybe this might be at a different area. So, if it is a duplicate, please uh, just please bear with me there. As well, we'll just continue on anyhow. All right. Looks number of active events too. All right. Dispatch two. Oh yeah, we did this one too. I thought definitely did this one. Maybe not. Maybe it was over here. 
It's hard to say. We'll dispatch though. I mean, we still have the the va uh, the ladder truck. So obviously, mm, you know, we didn't do it at this one. Uh, we probably did did like a hot dog stand or something like this. But um, definitely did not do. Definitely did not do that that location. That's just too close to the fire station. So I would remember that. So. Let's just continue on here. Oh, well, this is like the uh, the main the main mission here. All right, it's weird. All right, here he comes. Uh, if you could come in over here, maybe down here. Yes. Disembark everybody. Uh, connect water. That guy will connect our water. If this guy here could get a divider. If you here, sir, could get a nozzle. No, nope, not you. I didn't want you to get a nozzle. Hmm, return that tool. Understood. Wait, don't return that tool. Yeah, return that tool. Alright, we do have water. But I messed up. I He's got to pick up the divider. So we'll get the divider first. Alright, oh, maybe he did have the divider. Alright, connect the tool. Alright. Set up right there. We really didn't need the divider for this. One firefighter could actually take this out this fire. Um, but we'll, we'll use both. It's just uh, a little bit more work, obviously, as you can tell. Um, a lot more micromanagement of setting up all the firefighters and getting them going. And they don't really move too fast. They're kind of a little bit slower paced, maybe for safety. I actually want to have to see if this guy can get that. There he did. Good. Alright, yeah, see, we, we could have had just one firefighter get him, but we'll get them both some, uh, some XP there. All right, they are returning now to station. I think that's the only one. Yeah. So looks like we have a person down. So we'll get the ambulance here. Dispatch them. Nothing too too crazy. Uh, it's oh, local news. Yep. Yeah. They have the same same remarks every single time. So yeah. See well. Local news, local news, local news. Always the same. Always, always, always. Ooh, that one's that one might be fun. Fire reported. Hmm, it's interesting that they show fire. Oh, we have two injured here. Um. Hmm. That's interesting. How are we going to do this? Um, let's get the first aid kit. Uh, looks like we might need fire. For whatever reason here. So we'll get fire coming. We'll uh, treat this victim. Actually, we don't need fire. I... Yeah, could you maybe come down here? Understood. I see why we could why I fire though. You know what? Just wait just wait for fire. They're gonna be here. Affirmative. So just wait for them. Uh hopefully we could take two people into the ambulance here. So uh definitely be interesting. Uh if one of you guys could clear this please. That's definitely unique. Just tacking away like it's a box of crates. That is definitely weird. But whatever. It is what it is. You could uh, take a look at that person. Not really sure here what happened. Guy riding his bike and he ran, like, rode it right into someone. That's, uh. Alright, return the tool to the station.
And then let's see if we can pick up uh, two people yeah. here. This will this will be interesting to see if we can put two people in the ambulance. I'm um, not really sure what the uh, limit is, so we're about to find out here. And then, uh, all right, so we have one in. Looks like we can take two, so that is nice compared to our emergency series where you can only take one person per ambulance. Uh, I think there's a couple in some of the mods that allow for multiple ambulances, obviously. So that's kind of cool, and we cannot load. All right. We can only take one. So. Understood. We're going to have to send him off to the hospital. We will wait then, and then we will uh, recall the ambulance back in pretty shortly here. It's kind of odd. Uh, too bad we couldn't uh, purchase another ambulance, though. But it is what it is. Oh, ambulance did return by itself. That is kind of cool. That is nice. So if you could grab him, yeah. Yeah. at least I will say that is nice though that he like Perfect. get re returns by himself. All right, I'll load it up. Whoops, no, we don't need to place the victim on the stretcher. Take us to the hospital, please, with your, with your lights. The lights are neat, you know, especially like how it radiates off the. Off the buildings here and stuff. Definitely well done. Alrighty. Looks like it didn't cost too, too much for us, so that is nice. Um, we do have another tutorial mission here. So we're actually going to do the dispatch here, and then we will do the tutorial. And then, uh... And then we will uh, probably call it an episode after the tutorial mission there. But we'll see. We'll see what the tutorial is. So, just waiting. Waiting. A lot of downtime in this game for sure. I will definitely say that. Um, fire is on its way though. Ooh, it came through the tunnel. That's kind of cool. Little ski lift here, which is nice. Definitely a sandbox type of mode. Definitely a you know play system. So we'll see what the. Unit available. Oh, okay. Whoa, that's not good. All right, if you could get over here, Mister. Understood. All right, disembark. Um. Connect to the source. Affirmative. If you could get a divider. If up. you could get a hose. Roger. If you could connect your divider. Alright, that guy Setting hooked up, up the hose. Alright, if you could place your divider. Affirmative. Um, we're going to use... Alright, yes. Understood. We're definitely going to need them both for this. Yes. Uh, just because it looks like there's propane tanks here, so we Setting definitely don't up. want anything blowing up in the area. So, we'll get two firefighters on scene here doing this, up. obviously. Alright, slowly taking, um, I, th I think he was, oh, okay, yeah, he was just waiting on me. Just waiting on me. I'm a little slow, apparently, today. Alright, look at them handling it. Awesome. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Alright, handled that. And we just... Oh, perfect. Not too much. Property damage, 1%, I guess. Not really sure how you can fix that. So that wasn't bad, so here we are, local news. Uh, I, I think I am kind of tired of the local news pop-up, so ooh, this is a new one. You notice a lot of positive feedback regarding the fire station's performance on the social media. For a moment, you consider making the station its own Facebook group. Nice. 
But I am sort of like, oh, local news has spotted that, you know, or seen you doing the good job. Yeah, witness, fast and professional. That's great. All right. Ooh. We're going to learn how to use a dry riser. Whatever that is, I am not sure. I feel like that's kind of like a, a water truck. All right. Connect the vehicle. Select the fire and connect and click on the dry riser, riser speeder. This will allow you to use dry risers outlet on the roof of the training building as a water source. Huh. Click on the dry riser speeder. Hmm. Oh, I see. So it looks like it's for buildings. A fire door? Is this one locked? Alright, there we go. <clears throat> that's uh, that's interesting. Very... It's a cool little idea, though. Surprising, though, that they don't... Uh, that they have to have a fire truck connect to it though. That is interesting. By itself, but I guess now we know how to use dry risers and the ladder truck. Neither of which, well the ladder truck we haven't used yet. We haven't had a call out for it. So, I think uh, this is where we're going to end this episode guys. So remember to hit that like button if you like this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you like my other videos. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.